Hi everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to my hobby space. Today on Warhammer Community, they did a preview for the new Slaves to Darkness set. And it's just like my favorite faction. So I wanted to go over this with you and take a look with you. Let's just dive right in and see what they got in store for us. This is the Nova Open Reveals from September the 1st, uh, 2022. Bring Ruin to the Realms with this Slaves to Darkness launch set. Okay, I'm already digging this guy right here. I mean, this art looks great. That's one of the best things about Slaves of Darkness. It's got this gritty, awesome artwork. And yeah, let's scroll down. Uh, shadowy power fulminates all across the Age of Sigmar as the forces of chaos continue their assault on the mortal realms. You can join Archeon and Belakor as they pull down the pillars of order and build their dark hegemony with the Slaves to Darkness launch set. Okay, I mean, this is just great. We already have one of the best start collecting boxes out there with like some really dynamic poses on all those start collecting miniatures. But now we get a launch set. This is awesome. Slaves to Darkness Return. Find out more on warhammercommunity.com. All right, let's go down. Uh, that's a sea of spikes, ornate trim, and brutal weaponry. Let's take a closer look. Let's hope the War Scrolls really do give us some brutal weaponry. Sometimes these guys look really cool, but the, you know, the War Scrolls just aren't there. But for the most part, Slaves of Darkness do deliver. Okay, I'm, I like this box. This art looks awesome. Don't know how big the box is just from looking at this, but it looks awesome. Not a big fan of these ruins here. I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of these runes here. Um, I'd like just to be able to read this, but by doing it this way, in GW's uh, defense, they can sell it anywhere in the world and all they need is one box. So considering all the problems you have with shipping these days, it makes sense. I'm just not a big fan of the runes. Here we get this cool awesome looking guy again with like a head hanging from his hand. How cool is that? We got our new demon prince over here. Okay, let's scroll down and see some more. I uh, let's see okay this is all the miniatures in the box wow we get a bunch this is awesome um, so we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten warriors um, fighters those look like 32 millimeter bases we get these three what do you call them minotaurs that's not the word for it uh, mirbadons mirbadons three of them Standard bearer, standard bearer, horn blower, and a leader. So you got everything you need right there. And we've got our new demon prince. I mean, look at this guy. He's awesome looking. I'm, I'm excited to get my hands on this guy. Um, the old one was really derpy. So I have uh, one demon prince that I used uh, Ogrid Mirmadon for uh, a conversion. And that worked really well. I mean, that's a really good kit. To use for uh, it's a really good kit to use for demon princes but this guy's gonna be awesome I mean, look at that guy okay let's scroll down okay oh here's our demon prince this is the first place you can get hold of the fearsome new demon prince who has a plethora of build options so we've got him here we've got some different heads down here so we've got Nurgle Corn, Zinch, Slanesh, uh, undivided head here. And it says plethora of build options. That's probably because he can also be used in 40k, which means you could take these wings off and use them for something else if you want. But I mean, a demon prince needs wings, in my opinion. So I just, I'm going to build them with wings. But having extra heads is cool because then you could use those to kit bash some other demon princes if you like. Um, he's in, this Demon Prince is in this box, but I wouldn't be worried about um, not being able to get him individually because he is also available for 40k, so they probably they probably will release an individual uh, standalone box for this guy soon. Uh, if they're smart, they will anyway. GW likes money, so I guess they will. All right, scrolling down. Okay, here's these guys. Wait, what's, what are they? Backing up this terrifying demon commander is a unit of indomitable chosen. 
Yeah, they're pretty good. The most incredible armored chaos warriors ever to have strode in the battle. Except they have no ward save. At least not currently. So I'll take my chaos warriors over these guys. Each one every inch the consummate killer and has ornate and imposing as the chaos lords of previous editions. Let's check out how ornate they are. Ooh. RNA. I like this uh, standard bear hair. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got a drummer, which is nice because they didn't do one of these in the, for the warriors in the last box set. This axe or halberd here is pretty brutal looking. That's going to be deadly, I hope. And this hammer is cool. Another big halberd. Yeah, I like it. I like that they don't have capes. Um, capes are cool. But sometimes I don't like painting capes, so I'm glad they got rid of the capes. Good job, GW. And we're back to the start. Okay, this guy over here's got this cool grip in hand. I like that. That's that's pretty awesome. And the armor is a lot more innate than the standard warriors, so that's pretty cool. Let's scroll down some more. Right. Ogroid Theradons, there we go. Ogroid Theradons provide even more muscle for your army with horns, hooves, and axes big enough to hew away any mortal warrior in two. Nice. So we got these guys, they look to be on 50 millimeter bases. And big axe, and the big axe, and the big axe. Uh, horn blower. This flag is pretty awesome. I mean, it's GW, so they always got these awesome paint jobs. Um, I wish I could paint like that. I don't do any freehand stuff on mine. I should probably try. Comment down below if you do freehand painting on yours. If you got any tips, let me know. Anyway, I like these guys. Um, I think one set might not be enough. You might want to reinforce them once. Um, or just have two side by side. But they look really cool. I wouldn't mind having some of those. The set also provides the new hmm? the set also provides the new battle tome in a unique limited edition format with a beautiful cover sure to raise the eyebrow of even the most impressive warlord. This set will be the first place you can acquire these updated rules. Okay, so you're getting the new battle tome in the set. That's really handy. It's gonna be it's gonna be expensive though. There's more to come, but the Dark Master has wreathed them in shadow until the time is right. Oh, wow. So you get this book, that set of three ogre guys, ten chaos chosen, and a demon prince. Okay, just off the top of my head, this is going to be like, what, a $150 box, maybe? It's kind of pricey. But, you know what? I think I'll probably still end up getting it. And let's see when's coming out. Uh, you'll be able to buy the box towards the end of the year. That's good. Think of it as a spiky vanguard arriving ahead of the main force of iron and hooves slated for early 2023. So that means there's going to be more models coming maybe in 2023, which is cool. I'd like more new models, even though we have a pretty new range, really. Uh, wow, that's great. So we can get this, it says winter, which made me first think when I saw that January, but then I just read this and it says by the end of the year. So maybe we're thinking Christmas. If they get it out by Christmas, I bet they'll sell a bunch of these. Okay. Wow. And I don't care about the rest of that. I like that art. That's pretty cool. Uh, yep. These guys look good. Yep, yep, take my money, GW. Take my money. Whew. All of this and a book. What do you think it's going to cost? I'm guessing 150 US. Mm, I'm hoping less. But that's just my guess. And that box is awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that. Um, if you'd like to see more of these reviews, let me know in the comments down below. Um, it's my first time trying them, so if you like them, yeah, sure, I'll do more. Um, I just wanted to do this one because I love Slaves of Darkness. It's really one of my favorite armies. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep enjoying the hobby.